So welcome back day three fishing for you guys, day four of the holiday for me. It's time to get back down the beach, try and catch a bigger shark if we can do. A um, bit of a turn of the luck, we met a couple here called um, John and Lindsay and they went for a walk down the beach today and on their walk they found a rig, a sea fishing rig um, attached to a log that had obviously been snagged up and it had snapped off so I've actually found a proper fishing weight, about a four ounce lead with a nice wire trace and a nice hook on as well so I'm going to be using that today on the bigger rod. I'm going to get that out and we have two rods running today, one out as far as I can get it, trying to catch some bigger shark and the other one float fishing like I have been already. That's the plan. Just getting all the gear ready now. I'm going to travel light today. We're not going to take all my spinning gear with me. I'll take one with me just in case I see anything but I'm not going to take anything like that with me really. It's all been floating ledger so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get down there, try and catch a bigger shark because shark are fun even when the time like I have been catching but I want something a bit bigger now. I think it's about time you saw one as well. So that's the plan of action today. Got a good day planned tomorrow, but I'll tell you about that later on. In the meantime, enjoy some more beautiful fishing in the Atlantic here at Cape Verde on Boa Vista. And I'll see you on the beach. So back on the beach. This is a new rig I told you about, look. Found me nice lead. Down to our trace with the hook. And John, our new friend and baby, my amazing fishing pants, has given me a massive piece of tuna to fish with. So this is going. Right, it's on. So that bad boy's out. Fishing. Just need to keep my eye on it. It's like fishing with two rods on one of those day ticket waters. You never quite feel like you should be fishing with two rods because it might kick off. Who's see a cart rod stuck in a beach, eh? Thanks, Nick. Trying to watch two rods at once, not going too well. I'm watching the tip of the rod on the bank on a bit on the shore and basically holding the line of the other rod. As you can see. Just come off. <laughs> Cut me off. Wire trace. Right, 
back on the prawn. Prawn is king. Right, that was weird. I had this feeling it was gonna just go. So I just had my hand on the rod touching the line. The next second, it was just away. It was weird. Right, it's on now. It's on now, chaps. Hey! Is it live bait size? I fight him on a on a on blue a, on a flood. Oh, on blue, yeah. Oh, that's a good one. Right, my mate's on. Time to get a blue rig out with a livey on it. That was only a couple of years ago. <laughs> Blue! Here we go then, fishy, do you be proud? Watch the balloon! <laughs> all or nothing, mate, all or nothing. Yeah. I like the way you're thinking. I really do. That's exactly what I wanted to do. Balloon fish for shark off Cape Verde, Boa Vista. This is exactly what I wanted. Let the tide take it out. 75 pound braid, 150 pound trace, size eight oak hook, and a two and a, three and a quarter pound Tesco of cart rod and a pen carp rod, carp reel, amazing. It's gonna work people, this is gonna work. Live bait out there. Right, let's take him up here. I'm about here, I reckon.
waiting for the inevitable now. Yeah, waiting for that to balloon to do a, a Jaws 2. <laughs> yeah, we need a bigger boat moment. Yeah, or we need a bigger rod moment. <laughs> yeah. One of the two. Yeah, I wish I bought 50 pound braking strain. Not well, I've put 75 pound braid on it. Oh, wow. That, that should do it. Yeah. I knew I'd catch a few small sharks. Well, I knew there was a few small sharks here. Yeah. But so if I can just get something a bit bigger. Yeah. Be good. We're always chasing the bigger ones, aren't we? Always. Yeah. Always are. You said you got one set up already. Yeah, there is over there. Yeah, yeah, grab it. Yeah, go for yeah. it. It's a float rod. That's how I've been catching them all, to be fair, on that exact rod. Is it? Yeah. Yeah, help yourself, mate. There's bait in the back. I think there's bait on it already as well. So I put that three, four ounce weight back on just to try and get a bit more distance. I was. Well, we had a take on the balloon rig. Unfortunately, I bit my bait in half. in a second mate <laughs> hey hang on hang on hang on yeah, got the sharp end bob's into something big Yeah. Shark crazy. Shark everywhere. <laughs> well done, mate. Nice one. Yeah. Don't shark. I'm impressed with that. It's awesome, isn't it? If anyone asks, I've got a reef shark. I'm not going to. Don't say the size. No. I don't know what could have heard. That's not a bad one. You've got there. He's got a nice one there. Got it. <laughs> and it's just come off. Fantastic.
On me way. Mate, that's a nice fish. You want to loosen that off of it, yeah? Go on, you carry on. Yeah, it's only £15 pound line on there. Oh, is it? Yeah. Yeah. Man, I ain't bad. Yeah, be a bit more careful with this one, mate. It's a bit big. <laughs> Watch your toes, mate. John's second ever shark. Yeah. Lovely. Yeah. Wow! <laughs> that took my lead weight, that did. That's it. Well, maybe it was on the. That's put an end to that, hasn't it? <laughs> Finally! Pliers. Oh, the tail. Yeah. <laughs> Go.
Yeah. Got him. Right. That's a better one. Let him go, it's alright. I'd rather not fight with it to be honest. That was awesome. This is so, so much fun, it's ridiculous. Oh, my heart is pounding. <laughs> Look at it go out there! Sharky and George, the crime busters of the sea. You got the tail? Yeah, yeah. Give me a pocket. I was keeping it now, it's getting too much chance, so I'll keep going back when that fish is catching. So it is now, it's on a roll. Get a picture with this one. <laughs> Try to. Yeah. Keep hold of it. I can't cast it very far. What? I can't cast it very far at all. Uh, that's why I've had to keep wading in. Nice! Yeah, I got the rod. Amazing. <laughs> That's wicked. So we're actually on the next day now, sorry. I completely forgot to do a sign out from this video. Uh, so we're actually on the next day. It's about lunchtime-ish. Um, I'm feeling rough as hell because we went out last night and drank quite a lot. So I'm not feeling very good today, which is fantastic, especially in this heat. Um, so on the next day, the session yesterday was amazing actually. The other guy that you saw in the video there that was fishing with one of the other rods was John. He's the guy that found me that lead and hook, um, British couple. So he came down, he's a fisherman as well. He fishes Rudyard quite a bit. So he came down, had a bit of a play as well. He caught loads of sharks, so he's never caught a shark before either. So it was really good for him to be there with us and sort of experience the whole thing as well. It was a really good session. It went crazy for a little while. Um, where there was flying fish coming out across the water everywhere, sharks were right in at the beach, absolutely everywhere, it was insane, it was a really moody sort of five minutes. Don't know what changed it, whether it was a certain time of the day that did it, um, but it was really weird, really cool to see actually, um, and we caught some nice shark as well, getting a bit bigger, still not the size I want. Um, the balloon rig worked obviously, um, with a live bait, as the live bait got demolished by a smaller shark, 
So I need to try and figure out a way to try and make that work, try and get some of the bigger fish. I've lost that lead now, which was weird. A shark actually took the lead and completely destroyed the clip. This clip here that was, you can see that or not, that clip there that was holding the lead on was completely mangled. So as I was reeling in, a shark has hit the lead and just destroyed the clip and the lead's gone, which is a shame. But I have still got, whoop, I have still got some of the pieces of rebar, which I'm going to try and use today at some point. But anyway, that's another video for you guys, even though I'm videoing it today. Bit weird. Um, thanks again for watching. I hope you like this little mini-series. I'm not sure how it's panned out with the footage. I'm trying to get the best footage you can do with the GoPro. The mic doesn't work that I bought with me, so that's knackered, so I'm using the GoPro mic and the housing clip that I've got to put on the chest rig, I bought the wrong one with me. So the GoPro is constantly sort of at that sort of angle, instead of it being completely flat, uh, which is a bit of a shame, but I still think the footage is gonna be okay. I still think you can see everything. I'm saying this now when the videos are all up and live, so I now know what they're like in real time as you're watching this. Um, but anyway, stop waffling. Thank you for watching once again. If you like this mini series, give us a thumbs up. Give us a sub subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Um, head over and see me on the other social media platforms. I'm on Facebook and I'm on Instagram as well. That's it. I will see you in the next video.